So let's just set it up. The Garmin 235, the one with the internal heart rate measurement unit. Let me just zoom in so you can see it clearly. I want to set it up and uh, I'll be testing it of course. So uh, I did not use this before so this is really the first time and I want to show you if it's hard or easy to set up. And uh, for your information I used a lot of Garmin Foreigners so uh, uh, mostly they are quite uh, the same. I want the kilometers and the 24 hours mail. Uh, also almost good. Uh, I'm heavier than that. Uh, oh this one. You have uh, three buttons here so it was a little bit confusing. So up and down and this is just the on off button. And this is the I want to go running button and this is the go back. So let's go to my weight. Oh you can choose 75. So, uh, it will be 74 my target. Uh, my height. Now let's just go running. Oh there we are. That easy. And it does have four screens so I'll be testing that also. Now it's new of course here and did it choose? Yes it found the GPS because it's already measuring something although we are keeping still. And that's with every hardware monitor I get, every GPS hardware monitor, they are just yeah, a little bit off balance when you're keeping still. But uh, it seems uh, bigger the the error than it is uh, in uh, in real time. So the heart rate measurement. Let's just see how it works. And uh, just put this on. I think the strap is nice to see, but I uh, I would chose uh, black if uh, they had it in the shop. But uh, hmm, pity for not. I'm sorry they uh, didn't, and I just want to have it. Let's so. just go and see how quick it is to measure my heart rate oh there it is so that's real quick that's real quick 91 because i'm talking let me just stand a little bit more still then it should uh, go down and not up so let's just see what happens Hmm. Yeah, it's. I would. I would expect it went uh, lower, but not that low. That would not be healthy. So, what's going on? Is the Garmin uh, yeah, it's first time on my uh, wrist? Don't know if that's uh, something to do with it. And it's quite. Uh, I will make it a little bit more tight. It is new, so it is a little bit uh, stiff. So let's just fix that here. Here we are. So there's my heart rate again. This is more what I want to see, 70. So that's my, uh, not my rest. If I'm uh, laying down, I think my rest heart rate is uh, 50 f uh, to 55. But this is something I recognize when I'm uh, making a video. So let's just... Uh, Check some more screens. So it says says the heart rate zone is uh, gray, so low time. It's correctly, so I didn't have to set it up. So that's very quickly. And this is the distance. So this is wrong. I am standing still, but uh, yeah, two. Hmm. I'll be testing that with running, but. Uh, I also uh, saw that at the Polo at a uh, oh no, the V800 and the TomTom Tom Cardio. So they seem all seem to have that. So now here we stop it and we go on and we stop and we go on. And this is the lap uh, button, like all Garmin Forerunners. So it's real simple. You see a very good, uh, big uh, the numbers. So if you are running. If you're uh, going for a Strava lap or going for a race, you can see it in an instant. So that's great. 
and you can set uh, those screens those screens you can save on let me show you uh, four items on one page to with just one item if you want to see only your heart rate or your speed or your time so it's quite an handy so this is the like button but I don't think you can see that no. so this is uh, in short the first uh, opinion and how do we stop it I think ah like that resume no we want to uh, no let's just save it see what happens no recovery time so it's not very interesting but it is the yeah the summary of the run and now I'm done great so that's my heart rate at this moment oh, the last four hours oh that's quite good one moment I will be zooming correctly like that I think that's uh, easier to see Now I've been making a new video because uh, something's going wrong, sorry. <laughs> 